Welcome back to the Sound for More channel. It's Leo speaking. Today I have the pleasure to show you how you can do MIDI Learn using Surface Builder from Four Pockets, a recent released app, a MIDI controller, an AUV free MIDI controller, and uh, also using another AUV free such as Red Strike from Ice Gear. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. We are inside Logic Pro for iPad on an iPad Pro M1. Let's click on Create Project and select Tracks. When we have done that, let's select a software instrument as a MIDI track. And we have a default patch, as you can hear. Let's minimize the play surface. Now let's bring up the plugin editor. Let's click and hold on the electric piano and replace that for something like Red Strike. If you haven't used um, Red Strike, I recommend it. It's a really nice uh, synth app and this is what it sounds like. Of course, this is a patch, an example, and there are many others. Okay, let's close that play surface back to the plugin editor. And let's exit that details view of Red Strike and click on MIDI effect. Okay, and here, let's search for Surface Builder, like so. Okay, we have loaded Surface Builder. Let's double click on it to open it up. I have um, recorded already um, some videos um, on Surface uh, um, Builder, but please do refer also to the Four Pockets uh, uh, YouTube channel where Paul is giving a lot of instruction, is doing also a master guide or lessons as well. Okay, let's go to the menu, click New Surface, and just select Create Create Surface. And then let's go back to the menu again and resize that surface so that we have a bit more space, like so, for additional controls. Next, we are going to go back to, actually, we're going to the menu, Add, to the option Add, and we add a keyboard object, like so. We reposition it down here, we resize it as well, and then move it back down here. Next, we go inside the property of the object, and uh, what we are going to do is to select channel number one here, and you need to click save here to remember the settings, and then we exit the edit mode. Now you have a MIDI keyboard inside Surface Builder, which of course you can use to control the red strike. Now let's go back to edit mode, and let's click on the add object, and let's add a rotary node. Um, knob object. Okay, perfect. Um, let's set it to send MIDI CC messages there on channel one, and let's choose as a MIDI uh, as a value uh, CC uh, twenty. Okay, control change twenty, and click save. We go also to the label, and we can select clear, and then we type cut off as the label that uh, we want to use for, and click apply for that uh, uh, rotary dial. We change the style to silver radio because it is um, a little bit nicer and then we resize it as well, like so. Now let's exit uh, edit mode and here we have this dial, of course. Now let's go to red strike and let's scroll down and you see a section here for filter and here we can adjust the cutoff and we can adjust the resonance as well. Let's double click on both so we set them down to um, zero. Actually that worked for resonance but when you do it for cutoff it goes to maximum so let's set that to a minimum. Here on the top right hand side you have a, a symbol here for MIDI. Click on it. It is for doing MIDI learn. Now click on the cutoff. It is highlighted. Now without touching anywhere else just go back to the surface builder and move this dial like so if everything has worked correctly when you go back to red strike it will say cc number 20. now move um exit that midi learn mode reset down these to zero and now as you move the dial here for example if i up here in the middle i go back to red strike it's up here in the middle so i've done midi learn for uh, that particular a uh, cutoff uh, uh, parameter. So now I can play. Now 
have let's have a little bit more fun let's go to edit mode we click with uh, uh, one finger sorry with two fingers and click and hold and then we move it to the left so to the right sorry and do it there again so we can duplicate it all right so now we have uh, um, these uh, uh, three dials which are exactly the same let's go to the um, to the second one open the object properties let's change the uh, label to resonance so that we can uh, drive the resonance inside um, red strike click apply and then let's change the cc value to 21 and click save then we go to the next one again we go inside the label clear it and um, um, why not let's um, let's change uh, let's go back actually and let's check what we can change we can change why not the pitch here for the resonator so back to surface builder and click inside this cutoff and then uh, a dial sorry the third one click select clear and then uh, write for example pitch here which will be the pitch for the resonator okay of course uh, select apply and change the CC value to 22 because we already used 20 and 21 and remember to click save so if everything is done correctly um, you'll have now three dials first one send the CC 20 second one CC 21 and the third one CC 22 let's exit now the edit mode we are in presentation mode let's go to red strike enable um, midi learn select resonance go back to super surface builder and change the resonance like so go back to red strike you see it says cc21 then we go to pitch here and we select it go back to surface builder and change the pitch dial go back to red strike and you see it says cc22 now again let's exit midi learn mode let's reset the controls that now will they will be driven by surface builder So, so we have uh, a down MIDI learn, of course, uh, using uh, Surface Builder and Red Strike. Now, let me show you something else. Let's exit the uh, details view of Surface Builder. Click and hold on Surface Builder and select the record MIDI uh, to track here. Right. So it's just a, a additional menu which you can find um, here. Just click it and hold it. And I've demonstrated these in another video. Now. Let's open up the Surface Builder and maximize the uh, view here. If you double click on the surface as well, you hide that uh, uh, bar on the left hand side and you can of course double click to reveal it again, just to give you a little bit more space. Now that we have that option to record uh, um, the effects to track, let's click hit record and play. Now let's stop. We have recorded some notes. Let's remove the metronome and now let's play. Interesting. So if you now go to the uh, region editor, of course, and you re let's uh, close the uh, plugin editor, you can see the notes which have been recorded, right? But if you click on automation, you can see also the automation which has been recorded, which is fantastic, is what we really wanted. Okay. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and as always, see you next time. Bye.